everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well so today's topic is ketu and healing of the soul how south node of the moon always guides us to heal and let go the things which we don't need anymore i'll be doing such videos for all the planets how a particular planet represents something so specific about your soul's journey so let's start the series with Ketu because Ketu is a point where everything started that is the start that is the beginning whatever you say but Ketu holds on to these timelines of endings and the new beginnings the Matsya avatar is connected to Ketu it's strongly associated to the south node because when the pralaya came the apocalypse came that in, in that ending, we were preparing for a new start, a new beginning. So that is the um, energy of Ketu, letting go things which we don't need and preparing for a new start, preparing for a new cycle. Now, South Node Ketu is a mathematical point. It doesn't have any mass. It doesn't have a solid body. Okay, we consider it as a shadow planet, but it's included as one of the Navagraha. Navagraha means the nine planets, but there you call it as a planet in English here. If the comment section will be full of explosive comments, like how you can call Ketu as a planet, but in traditional astrology, we include it in the Navagraha, so the nine planets, right? So depends upon which language you're using and uh, things really change over here. But I've always been fascinated by the South Node. Whenever I'm in a temple and doing those parikramas, parikrama means taking around around the planetary deities, the, the statues, Ketu always stands out. It's all dressed up in that bright and multicolored clothing. So it just stands out so beautifully. And this multicolored bright clothing of Ketu represents all the flavors of life, all the situations of life, experience them all, learn from them, but do not cling to those experiences. At one point, you learned what you had to, but let it go. So that is the energy of Ketu. Because if you cling to those experiences, you will lose your shame, you will lose your purpose. And what is the true purpose for every being? getting much closer to the original source, the divine, the higher power. Now, how Ketu brings healing for the soul? It's a force which helps us to release, to get free from any kind of bondage, attachment. And this is the principle of healing for Ketu. This is how it sets you free and it makes you feel much better. Letting go things is a difficult process. So just like in childhood, having a bit of medicine was way worse than the ailment you had. In the same way, K2 is this bit of medicine, but it will ensure that you are healing and you are moving forward, preparing yourself for the new things in life. So accepting this medicine, this bit of medicine is difficult. The North Node Rahu is the head and head means your mind, your desires and how you work to fulfill those desires. Rahu brings many experiences in life and based on these experiences, you decide what you will do with your life. Either you dwell on those experiences, either you destroy your own self with those experiences or uh, based on your experiences, you learn new things and then you move forward. So Rahu is bringing development in life. It's about the um, experiences you are gaining every single day. But Ketu is this tail. And what is the main function of the tail? to balance. Ketu is the balancing force. Ketu helps to understand the experiences given by Rahu. All those desires which makes you go crazy. I want this. I want to do that. I cannot leave this because this is what I want. So when you are running after something, you're chasing your goals, 
you will come across different experiences and ups and downs and Ketu helps to understand those experiences, process those experiences, just take what is required, that wisdom you have learned. But at one point, you just have to let go. Ketu is about self-awareness being connected to your own self looking inward and that's how it helps to process the experiences brought by rahu like you're looking now inward you're not looking outward and whatever you learn from the outside world just pick the wisdom which is necessary for moving forward so that's why ketu like is the tale it's a balancing force for each one of us. Like, like you look in animals, tail has a purpose. Firstly, it balances the body and it helps in you know propelling forward and the movement. In same way, Ketu uh, helps you to surrender. It helps you to let go certain situations because if you are stuck in something, you cannot move forward, you cannot do um, anything, like even the health suffers. So Ketu, the tail, helps you to propel forward and let go things which are not required. Then a tail is also about defense system and same the Ketu is doing for you. It's your defense system, it's your intuition, how you're connected to your own soul how self-aware you are. The more you are self-aware, you know your priorities, you know where you will find your happiness and peace, and you will not be attached to um, a lot of things which are not good for you. So Ketu also helps to have a good defense system, a good intuition. Then tail is also about communication. It is used to communicate with the other animals in same way Ketu helps you to communicate with your own inner self, how you can be true to yourself and also the communication which you have with the divine, with the higher power. So that's how Ketu works. Now, Ketu is not a very easy planet. That's why it's considered as to be a malefic, it's a shadow planet. So the lessons which Ketu gives, like they will be painful. It's like you are being struck by a lightning bolt. It's painful. It's shocking. It will give you a sudden event, which is life changing, hard to process. But that sudden change is helping you to understand, hey, it's time to give up on something which you don't require. So that's how Ketu just helps you to remove all those things which are not necessary and you're carrying that load constantly. So the lessons, the events given by Ketu are very sudden, very shocking, but it always leads to something new. It just, just you know, it takes you to the place where you should be actually. So it's a force which helps you to propel forward. Ketu is also about dissolving the ego. Look at the nakshatras of Ketu, Ashwani, Magha and Mula. So Ashwani is your born and as your born, your spark will experience this world. The ego is being born, ego, the self-esteem. You will learn about this. Then when you reach to Magha, that pride, self-esteem, ego reaches to the peak then when you reach to Mula, all of that ego shatters down, it breaks away, it just dissolves from there. So ego has a connection with Ketu, Ketu just breaks that. And um, in whatsoever sign Ketu is placed, whatsoever house Ketu is placed, you have to let go something. That aspect of life becomes your ego. It is a matter of your pride, so you have to learn to uh, not to be too attached to it otherwise you will constantly face this issue identity issue connected to that now ketu's way of working the ketu's medicine is about let go and surrender but this doesn't mean that you should leave everything and do nothing in life ketu if you see is associated to vulture and vulture is a scavenger it feeds on the dead matter in the same way, Ketu feeds 
on those things of your life, those thoughts, those emotions which are no longer required. Certain aspect of life which is not functioning, it's dead, but you're still stuck to it, Rahu. Okay, I want this. Why it's not working? I want to make this happen. So what Ketu does, it just brings a metamorphosis in your mind to just remove all those things which are not working because the more you get stuck to those things, the more you cannot move on to the next phase of life. So that's why Ketu um, is malefic in nature because it threatens you to let go certain things which are important for you but they are not functioning you're not getting anything and it's just keeping you stuck it's not letting you to look beyond it and move forward with your life so and that is the medicine of ketu that's how it brings healing see when you let go something it should be completely gone. You should not be hopeful about that situation. With hope, there will be always an expectation. Okay, I'm letting go. So don't play with your own self. Okay, I'm letting go. I, I won't think about it. I won't think about it. But still, you have this hope deep within. It's about complete surrender. Okay, this is not functioning. Maybe this is not for me. So let that just go away from you. Because that's, that is the miracle of Ketu. When you completely let go, then it just brings a new path. It's like a miracle. That is the miracle of Ketu. When you let go, you will see this new path waiting for you. Because once you are into this phase of ending, once you end that issue, you will be presented with a new path but if you are stuck to it even if you have a new path in front of you you cannot see it you cannot make the best choice for yourself so that's how uh, the ketu is such a force which brings healing of the soul the soul heals only when you are not stuck on the past when you're not stuck on heavy emotions it's easy for you to let go things which keep you bothered, which keep you stuck in certain situations. And also Ketu uh, do bring dissatisfaction with the material things as well because ultimately the soul realizes like when you get dissatisfaction from most of the material things and you feel that it has no meaning, it just it's a sign that you are evolving and you your spiritual path is getting stronger so guys that's all for today's video and i hope this topic helped you to understand how ketu functions this is just a start we'll talk about more um, about all the planets we'll talk more about ketu as well but this was a general introduction like what ketu represents about your soul so see you on the next video take care of yourselves goodbye